morning cardinals happy monday to everyone hope and pray you had a blessed weekend and all the moms i had a blessed weekend as well a blessed day especially on mother's day right as we celebrate our moms hence we celebrate our mother mary in this month as well and we are just incredibly grateful to god for the gift of moms um, i myself personally have lots of family members in my life who have been more than just an aunt uh, they've been in many ways a mom and so as much as i'm in just incredibly grateful for the am amazing blessing of my own mother my godmother's amazing my aunts are amazing and at every turn all i have to do is just ask and still even at this age they are there for me and so um, so Cardinals hopefully you took the time not to just celebrate your mom on Mother's Day I'd like to take it a step further and challenge you to, to to honor and to thank moms every single day they are they work tirelessly uh, they just work non-stop and I'm a true believer that when God made man and then made women and made women t with the intent to be mamas um, he got an extra spoonful of love and just poured it into their heart because, you know, moms never stop loving, regardless. They never stop loving. And, uh, you know, we just need to give thanks to God for the gift of the, the moms in our life. You know, even my good friends growing up, um, they you know, my good friends' moms treated me like a son and, and loved me as well. So uh, just incredibly fortunate, incredibly blessed uh, for all the love that all the moms in my life have provided and continue to provide till this day. So hope and pray you celebrated mom and it isn't just a one day event. Cardinals, you should, you should uh, appreciate and you should thank your mamas and love your moms every single day. Make sure that you are doing that, Cardinals. If we could all take a moment to breathe in the Holy Spirit, put on our Christ and let us listen to today's word. As we continue our celebration of Easter time and Christ's resurrection, we will hear many other titles and names for Jesus. In today's reading, Isaiah prophesizes that there will be a young woman who will bear a child named Emmanuel, which means God with us. We know that this child was Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. When the house of David heard that Aram had allied itself with Ephraim, the heart of Ahaz and the heart of his people shook as the trees of the forest shake before the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz and say to him, Take heed, be quiet, do not fear. Again the Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David. Is it too little for you to weary mortals, that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child, and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, there's a particular portion of this reading today that just really stands out, and it is actually repeated frequently in the Bible. It is the statement to say, do not fear. Do not fear, says the Lord, repeatedly. But yet, our human nature is, is that we find ourselves fearing, some of us fearing certain things and then some of us are fearful of many things and brothers and sisters i've had to overcome my fears in life but brothers and sisters one of the things that i want to share with you in my time as you know being fearful of things and having to get over my fear of things is to realize that your fear is what limits you it limits your ability it limits our opportunities and in the meantime, by doing so, not only do we limit ourselves, we are limiting God, right? And so let me give you a for instance. When I was growing up, 
I wasn't always the best student. Mr. Horton had to repeat second grade. I failed second grade and had to repeat second grade. And I remember at that young of an age, just already had my mind made up that I was never gonna be a good student. I was never gonna learn at the pace of other students, that I was never gonna be able to get along with my teacher. It was a, it was a rough year, the year that I, that I got held back or failed second grade and had to overcome a lot of fears. But by the grace of God, God bless her, may she rest in peace, peace my second second grade teacher, Miss Mills, who inspired me to become a teacher, um, gave me the attention and the care and the love and the support that, that I needed. And she helped me to overcome a lot of my fears. And what I recognized in all of that, Cardinals, is that I allowed my fears to get the better of me. I made my mind up. Nobody did it for me, I did it myself. And had to overcome a lot of fears, but by the grace of God and, and God placing Miss Mills in my life at the time, she helped me overcome my fear of adults. She helped me overcome my fear of not speaking up and asking questions. She helped me overcome my fear of, of, of being afraid that I was never gonna be able to learn or never gonna be as, as, as smart as everybody else. And so a lot of amazing things happened that changed the course of my life uh, for the better in that second year of second grade. And what I did, Cardinals, is I learned to lean on the people that love and support me to help me overcome my fears. And then as I continued to receive that support from others, I also started to recognize my need to believe in myself. And if I couldn't believe in myself, I would believe in God in such a way that I would ask God, please help me. Help me overcome my fear. Help me to become the version that you created me to be. And so it worked in tandem. What do I mean? I would lean on people when I needed the support and the love and the help. But also in the meantime, I learned to lean on God all the more so. And, and so, so Cardinals, you know, I, I pray that you and I come to recognize how, um, what a negative impact, right? Uh, fear can have in our life. And it is up to you and I to be able to move past our fears, to be able to even embrace them and ask God's help to overcome all those fears, right? I mean, we've heard the story of David and Goliath, right? This guy was a giant, Goliath was a giant. And here you got little David and the whole army is afraid of Goliath. And David just says, I've got this and with a rock. And because of his immense faith in God, God helped them through and helped them overcome what most armies were fearful of. And so God moves in so many different ways, Cardinals. But what we need to do is acknowledge our fears, put our ask God to help us through our fears, lean on those who are willing to help and support us through those things. But ultimately, Cardinals, my biggest motivation anytime, even at my age, I still have fears, right? But I always continually am mindful of them and have continue to pray that God help me through my fears. And, and in the meantime, the biggest motivator for me is ultimately God. But the second piece is, is every time I allow myself to give in to fear, I'm limiting God. And that doesn't sit well with me. Um, every time I limit myself and my ability and every time I limit God, that's not okay. Let us be a people of faith. And let us be a people that comes to recognize that with God, all things are possible. It's in the Bible, Cardinals. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through God who strengthens me, right? And so I pray, Cardinals, that we continue to embrace this journey of faith that we're on and leaning on God and Christ and the Spirit in such a way that they help us to overcome our fears. And then in the meantime, recognizing that those people that love us and support us, they've been placed in our lives by God to help us in that same light. So, so, so thank you, Cardinals, for your willingness to, to recognize um, the fact that we're all in this together, that we're all a community of believers, that we all have to overcome our fears and our struggles. But it is up to you and I to continually choose Christ, choose God, choose the Spirit each and every single day to help us through that. I hope and pray you have a wonderful day, Cardinals. God bless. If you could please take a moment now to stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
God bless America and God bless our world. Hey everybody, today we're gonna go over the SLEs. Alrighty, a good Catholic student prays daily, knows and understands their faith, and demonstrates a spirit of service. A lifelong learner, thinks critically, develops skills and knowledge, and participates in the arts. A good moral character accepts accountabilities for our actions, respects school, peers, and adults, and acts as a good steward of the earth. Alrighty, have a great day. Come on, Mia. Me, me. Me, 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 me,